Hey guys, welcome to the Japanese kitchen Fuji. Today I'll make a vegan style Japanese breakfast. This is based on the meals of Japanese temples. Let's get started. This time too, I'll take the soup stock first. Today is vegan style, so I use kelp instead of dried bunny. Put kelp in 600cc of water and put it on low heat. Then take out the kelp just before boiling. If you bring it to a boil, the kelp will have a bitter taste and slime. The kelp stock is ready, plenty of umami. Next, I will make a similar pumpkin. Cut the pumpkin into 1 8 and remove the seed. Place on the plate and cover with plastic wrap. As it is hard and difficult to cut, heat it in the microwave to soften it. Heat at 600 watts for 3 minutes. Remove the wrap. Be careful not to get burned by hot steam. Cut into pieces that are easy to eat. It is very easy to cut because it is heated and softened. Put pumpkin and 100cc of soup stock in a pot. Add 1 tablespoon light soy sauce. 1 tablespoon of sake. 1 tablespoon mirin. 1 tablespoon of sugar. Put on high heat. When it boils, reduce the heat to low and cover it with aluminium foil. Simmer on low heat for 10 minutes until the pumpkin is tender. If the skewer is easily stopped, it's done. Simmer the pumpkin. Sweet, soft, and delicious. Next, make carrots and celery kimpira. Kimpira is a Japanese side dish made by two spraying shredded vegetables with soy sauce and sugar. It's standard to make burdock and carrot, but this time I'll make it with carrot and celery. Furthermore, the seasoning is simply salt and sake. This is shio kimpira. Shred one side carrot and two side celery same length. Mmm, colorful and beautiful. Heat 1 tablespoon of sesame oil in the frying pan. Add carrots and celery and fry quickly over high heat. When the vegetables are lightly cooked, add 1 tablespoon of sake. Add a pinch of salt. The vegetables are very sharp, so seasoning is minimized. To finish, add a little Japanese mixed spice shichimi pepper. Shichimi means 7 flavors and contains 7 kinds of spices such as chili pepper, Japanese pepper, and sesame seeds, etc. Mmm, good smell, it's done! Next, cook millet rice to make rice ball. This time, I'll use 360 grams of rice. Can make about 3 people. Wash the rice while changing the water and soak it in water for 30 minutes. After that, drain the water well. Put rice in the rice cooker and add 360 cc of water. It's the same amount of water as rice. This is a miscellaneous grain pack you can buy at the supermarket. Contains 10 types of millet. Millet rice is healthy, so it's especially popular with women. I also like it very much because I can enjoy the flavor and texture of various grains. Set aside about a bowl of rice. Spread the plastic wrap on the palm and put half the amount of rice on it. Make onigiri. Roll the rice by hand and shape it in a flat bowl. Of course, you can use it for triangles. Then make another one with the lemming rice. This time I'll make two small rice balls. Next, wrap one of the rice ball in pickled green vegetables. This is Nozawana, a pickle that's often eaten in the Shinshu region of Japan. I really like the flavor and the saltiness and it's one of my favorite pickles. In addition, pickled mustard is also very popular. It's called Takanazuke. It's done. Next, garland crescent mum with sesame sauce. The garland chrysanthemum is called shunnik in Japanese. Boil the garland chrysanthemum in hot water with 1 teaspoon of salt. Boil 
bowl for two minutes, take out and soak in ice water. By doing this, it will be finished in a beautiful green color. After leaving it for a while, squeeze it to drain it. Then, make a sesame sauce. 1 teaspoon light soy sauce, 1 half tablespoon sugar, 1 tablespoon sesame paste, and 1 tablespoon ground sesame. Mix well. This sauce goes well with a variety of vegetables. Cut the garlic and chrysanthemum into pieces that are easy to eat. Sprinkle the sauce just before eating. Next, simmer the bamboo shoot. Cut the bold bamboo shoot in half. Cut the tip vertically into 6 to 8 pieces. Cut the root in half vertically and then slice it into 5 mm pieces. Put bamboo shoot and 200 cc of soup stock in a pot. Add 1 tablespoon light soy sauce. 1 tablespoon mirin. Put on high heat. When it boils, reduce the heat to low and cover it with aluminium foil. Simmer over low heat for 10 minutes. Okay, it's time. When the soup is boiled like this, it's done. The seasoning of this simmered dish is basically light. Sprinkle dried bonito flakes on the finish. Finally, make cognac steak. Make a grid like cut on the surface of cognac. By doing this, the taste will be well stained. Please do both sides. After that, cut into 5 cm dice. Konjak is often used as a meat substitute in Japanese vegan cuisine. Depending on the cooking, you can get a meat-like texture and appearance. Heat 1 tablespoon of sesame oil and 1 teaspoon of chili oil in a frying pan. Add konjak. Mmm, sounds good. Fry on medium heat until the entire surface is brown. Add 1 tablespoon sake and 2 tablespoons of soy sauce. Dry well until the water is gone. Oh my god, really like meat. Drink with chimney pepper to finish. When the konjac is dry, it's done. Assort onigiri and 5 kinds of side dishes. Such dishes that don't use meat or fish are called shojin yori in Japan. Originally, it was a meal of a temple. This is a very healthy dish and with the recent vegan boom, shojin yori is attracting attention. In addition, these side dishes are well preserved so they are also convenient for breakfast and lunch boxes.